So now we're going to go through these examples of interpolation and extrapolation. Let's dive into the first one before us. So as you can see, we're looking at interpolation right here. And what we're going to do is we're predicting the response variable, which is y, using the explanatory variable, which is x. So in these examples, what we're doing is we're just subbing in the x value here. And because it's interpolation, you might like to write down this. Interpolation means that we're subbing in an x value within the given x value. So within is the key word there. So that means we're just considering things within the range of the x values that we've been given. We're not going outside of that. So this is what we're considering right here. So the context of this graph is beach visitors. The average daily temperature is the X and the visitors is the Y. So if we're predicting the response variable, we're, re we're predicting the amount of visitors are coming and we're going to sub in an explanatory variable to do that. So the question might be something along the lines of uh, what is the amount of visitors you predict you will have when the average daily temperature is 90 degrees. So what you'd be thinking in your head is, well, you know, my regression line would probably be about here. So that means if the average daily temperature was about 90, we don't know for sure, but I would predict that it's going to be that many visitors right there. So as you can see, there is no actual data point for 90. That's why we're predicting. And it's interpolation because we're within the given X values there. All right, let's now move over here in which this time what we're doing is it's still interpolation, but now we're predicting the explanatory variables, which is our X using the response variables, which is our Y. So this time we're subbing in a Y, sub in Y. Because it's interpolation, you can copy down what I've written here. We're subbing in a Y value within the given Y values. So that means we're considering only values within the Y. So that's like this. We're not going outside of that. So what would a question about prediction be here? It's still the same context about beach visitors. It might say if on a certain day you have, now let's look. I can't say 525 because I know how many people will come when it's 525. So I'm looking for somewhere that I don't have. Um, what about here? I mean, it doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Let's just draw in our regression line, which would be about there. And then we could say, all right, if I had this many people, I would predict a temperature of about that. So if I had this many people come, I would predict a temperature of about that. So again, we're predicting inside, it's interpolation. These are the accurate ones. So these are the accurate ones. Interpolation is generally reliable, generally reliable. What's not generally reliable is extrapolation, extrapolating. Sometimes you hear people say that, you know, they'll say often when people are kind of going out on a limb and saying something, they'll be like, oh, I think you're extrapolating there meaning I think you're being a bit unreliable, a bit not accurate there. So that's kind of what you can think of, think of. So extrapolation. So that's when we're subbing in an X value outside of the given X values. So that would be like here or here. This is less reliable when we're making predictions around there. So too, when we're subbing in a Y value outside of the Y values. So like here, or here, when we're making predictions like that. So if you were to predict, if we come over here for a second, uh, how many people are going to visit when it's 100 degrees? Well, maybe this line doesn't hold true anymore. Maybe when it's 100 degrees, no one rocks up because surely there's going to be a temperature in which it gets so hot that people aren't going to come anymore. I mean, no longer is it good to go to the beach when it's 100 degrees, and this is Fahrenheit. Of course, if it was, <laughs> if it was uh, Celsius, people would be burning. Um, but obviously, yes, when you're going too far, you can't make this regression line might not hold true, or maybe it does. We don't know. That's why extrapolation is not reliable. And so too over there. So you don't know if your regression line, your line of best fit, you don't know if it's going to continue to be true when you're outside of your given values. And that's kind of the take home message there. It's kind of a common sense one. Uh, so I don't believe we'll have too many problems about interpolation and extrapolation.